It's the end of the week, and so it's time to take out the trash. Okay, this has been a particularly trashy week, Jason. Who would you like to throw in the can? So we're going to take this to the good old Midwest, Michigan, Auburn Hills, Michigan, where a woman pulls and cocks a gun on a black lady and her daughter. Now, this happened at Chipotle. The woman with the gun bumps into the mother of the child. They get into an altercation, and it escalates outside of the Chipotle with epithets being thrown back and forth. Also, a man enters and defends the woman who would have, who pulls the gun. But essentially, it, it's the woman re- refused to apologize for bumping into the lady. She was very rude, and the woman just wanted an apology, rightfully so. And also, she probably didn't get her guacamole at Chipotle, so she's <laughs> a, little, a little pissed about that. But... It, it escalates because after the first interaction in regards to the physical contact, the woman hops into the woman with the gun, hops into her minivan and begins to pull out. And, and from the video, it looks like she's going to run over the woman who's questioning her. Things escalate even higher. And the woman jumps out of the van, Brent releases a gun, which looks like a Glock, cocks it and shoot and points it. I'm sorry, points it at the woman and her daughter in nice. broad daylight in a parking lot in Auburn Hills, Michigan at a Chipotle. Uh, the Karens, I'm sorry, not the, the carries. The carries <laughs> are even more vicious, violent, and unhinged now more than ever, John. And this could have ended up with a murder. This could have ended up very bad. This could have gone so bad yeah. very quickly because this woman had no problems pointing this gun pretty much cocking his gun and saying, hey, listen, if you don't step back, I'm going to shoot you. And the, and the woman who accused the woman of, of um, excuse me, of bumping into her wasn't being violent in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Any way, shape, or form. It, it, again, it, it's, you have to watch the video. It's, it's graphic in the sense of you see someone who has zero regard for human life. I understand protecting yourself, but in an instance where there is no need for violence and there hasn't been any violence that's been enacted on anyone, this is outrageous. 100%. So, yes, the woman with the gum is a garbage person. Throw her in the trash. Yeah. Uh, in the, the trash. So, and you, look, you're a very reasonable person, so you say I understand, you know, the need to protect yourself and all that. But, like, I never understand. Did the woman with the gun think that the woman with the daughter was going to kill the woman with the gun with her bare hands? Like, who thinks well, that? Well, okay, so. Who thinks right, that? Right, great question. But that also goes back and leans on the notion that that black people, and this has been said time and time again, and in studies that black people are seen as violent, hi- hyper, 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 I guess, and hyper aware, and we, we're looking, we're predators, we're predatory. That's, that is the idea that some people that are not of color think that black people are. That that's all we're there were kid that that we're just these violent individuals that at any chance we are looking to get into a scuffle, we're looking to to hit someone, mm-hmm. to to accost someone, and that is not the case at all. That is not the case, especially a woman with her daughter. A woman yeah. with her daughter wants to protect her child. Why would she why would she engage in something that could possibly put potentially put her and her daughter in harm's way? I, I mean, look look at this. This woman has a gun, like this is a, a stance. That you would take in a heightened situation, in an armed robbery, and it's something that's beyond bumping into someone at a Chipotle. It's just, it's insane. And yeah, like you point out, it could have so easily, this we could have been doing this story that a woman died because this woman, like mm-hmm. it, was, it was that close. There was a story I saw today of um, like a, a park ranger uh, shot this guy, a black guy, through the heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The guy hadn't done anything. He wasn't armed. He, was, he had no drugs, no alcohol in his system, not that that would make it okay. And the guy shocked him and said, yeah, I, I tried to stun him and he hit me. And so I shot him through the heart and killed him. Absolutely insane. And the thing about this case that, that you're pointing out, and we, we look, we've had a lot of Karens on garbage people recently. Um, it's that this just happened. So like we've had how many months of these sorts of stories in the news, of these totally needless, horrible confrontations. And so out there, this whole time, there's been a woman who has been going day by day, seeing the news, seeing the ridiculous spread of this Karen behavior, and it didn't mm-hmm. modify her behavior. She still did it, given her chance to be that person. And next right. week, it'll be others. And the week after, mm-hmm. it'll be others. And, and, the, and the same with 
you know, George Floyd, the particular way that he was killed, the particular way that these protests uh, started off, we've had multiple cops kill black men saying that they can't breathe since then. Like, even yeah. having the nationwide protests hasn't stopped the cops, not from killing black men, that's way too much to ask, but killing them in this very specific way. It hasn't even mm -hmm. stopped that. It's madness how hard it is to get anything to change in America. Right. It's, it's a trend. It's become almost like, let me see how I can recreate. It's like a TikTok dance. How can I recreate this in my own, in my own, in my reimagine this, this event. Right. And you, you, you hit the nail on the head. People, you, I look, people are crappy all over, John, but when things are brought to light, if you are a douchebag, if you are a crappy person, you kind of like do your dirt behind closed doors if you're going to do your dirt. But these people are now more emboldened to be even more open with it. Uh, yeah. It's beyond me. It's insane. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.